We have no money? Hopefully we don't have to pay to avoid the guard at the black market though. Is there gonna be a shopkeeper? Sky Drifter Casino, Smuggler Station. Rebel Threat Medium, Pirates, Unique, True, Type, Hostile. The black market is a base of operation for the smugglers. You'll find all, all sorts of people here, which can be both a wonderful and terrible thing. We've also killed smugglers, so I don't know how they're gonna feel about that. This is no ordinary pirate sector, far from Federation jurisdiction, one jump away. This is the heart of the black market and the smugglers' clan operation. Ships of all kinds come here with an endless spectrum of motivations. You'll never know what you may find. Fight, inspection, escape. They have an artillery weapon. They have money on their ship. You're right, it is a dollar sign uh, encompassed by wings. I would love, love to kill crew. Can we kill the crew of this ship? We can take out their weapons and then like hack their O2 and then take out their O2 system. We'll get hit by some ASB, but I think we could probably kill them. They have a hacking system. Their teleporter doesn't matter. The only thing that matters here is weapons, artillery, cloak. Because it's a guard ship. If you kill the guard, you get rewards. You get a free gun. If you can um, not kill the crew. They don't have drones. I've never seen this before. I want to try it. And because we have the power, I will put out a four power so that if I need to kill the ship, I can just take out the shields and let the drones do the work. Maybe even six power. No, I want to be able to hack. So let's go four power. They immediately launch the ASB, which I expected. Medbay getting hacked is meaningless. This means a lot, unfortunately. Directly into my into my weapons room, huh? You know, I got two crew members at least. This is gonna be a tough fight though. Let's get our uh, our medbay powered up so we have healing. What are we gonna hack? Are we gonna go for the crew kill? We would have to hack O2. It seems like a better idea to get their weapons offline first though, but they've got a lot of weapons. Lonely's Troll, thank you very much for the resub and hello, welcome. This is just a laser. I thought that was gonna be a missile. That means they only have one missile weapon? I wanna see their like money gun, if they got a money gun. We've got a 50% dodge chance and a ton of drone parts for healing. We're hurting, but it's gonna hurt and there's not much we can do about it. We might as well hack. It's only a level one O2 system, which is nice. They they left the ship, which means they're gonna come back later, but we'll, we'll try to heal before they come back. And hopefully they just teleport into a better room, honestly. We should have had the, we should have had the Wraith join, except he would have ionized my weapons, which would have been terrible. Let's go for here. They teleported to the exact same damn room. <laughs> you bastards! All right, let's send you in and, uh, you know, hopefully you don't ionize my weapons. I'll have to micro that slightly, but the Mantis. It's attacking my human, which I would prefer not to have happen. Let's go for their This is gonna be weird, but I'm gonna go for the hacking system. 
As a result, I can get my medic in there. As a result of getting my medic in there, we can heal. We can also keep our wraith from getting hit, which prevents us from getting ionized in the room. So it's a very like particular situation there, but I like it. Everyone can just chill in this room now because this room sucks. We're gonna lose our backup battery. They got a lot of lasers. 48% dodge chance though. We're gonna, we're gonna get hit. I know we're gonna get hit. Like, I've already accepted that we're gonna be getting hit here, okay? It's not a money gun, it's a cash cannon. <laughs> what do we, what do we attack? Probably Cloak? Probably Medbay. Cause like, if we take their O2 offline, the crew is now dead. It's just a matter of time. We're getting hit. You know what? Why don't we, um, why don't we hull repair after the ASB? Because I want to get the dodge chance. Incoming drones. Perfectly timed with our cloak, by the way. Pretty sure we did dodge the ASB. So, that landed in the O2 room again. Well, whatever, let's heal. More ASB? We just had ASB. You know what, we can take power out of the hacking system. Okay, took some stuff offline. This will probably cost us like five drone parts, but we're gonna get a weapon out of this if we kill the crew. And their crew is dying. It's gonna take time. That's kind of, that's, Kind of specifically why I'm doing what I'm doing and why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. We dodged a missile. I feel like that ASB is going off over and over again. Like it is, it is not giving me a break. We, we're dodging nicely though. And the, the O2 is still freaking wounded. The one thing is, it's gonna take a long time to actually kill the, the vamp weeds. Although this guy is stuck in the room, so he might die, but he's actually gonna repair the, uh, the breach. Yeah, so he's not gonna die. So we're gonna do something like this. He's lived. But you know what, if he, uh, if he repairs it, we can hack it. That'll kill him and everyone aboard the ship. But I still think we're in the clear. Let's get the, um, Med bay going. They're not gonna board me anymore. Why would they want to board this ship? Kidding me? So go ahead, repair the oxygen. We might have to shoot him in the room. But you'll die, you'll die, and you're gonna get stuck in a room that has a breach in a second. In theory. Dude, we're getting pretty good misses, by the way. We should have left him, we should have let him leave the room and then hacked it. <laughs> that would have been way better. No! They lived! He lived! He's just in the room! He's gonna, he's gonna repair it. The mother trucker. No, he's not, because when he leaves the room, I'll hack it. We're still gonna make it, I think. <laughs> the piece of garbage. We close all doors for a bit. What happened, did I lose my drone part somehow? When he leaves the room, in order to go to another room, I'll hack the O2 when he's out of the room. That'll kill him. 
He's almost dead. So he's gonna stay there for a minute. I can't see him. I can mouse over him though. He left the room. Goodbye. Oh, but the oxygen can't get hacked fast enough. It didn't work. Oh, you mother. I had, oh, after all of that, after all of that, I had to kill the ship because the damn vamp weeds replenish oxygen in the rooms. <sighs> if only I had my my weirdo beam. Wait, we are ionized for a long time. Oh, cause you're in the damn, get out of the room, you jerk. If only we uh, had the, the beam of doing crew damage. You fool, you failed to consider the power of photosynthesis. What kind of design for a sector is this? It's really hard to kill crew when they have plants. I hate it. I hate them, I wish they would die. Like literally, the Wonder Drone. Greetings, you look like a guy who benefit greatly from never seen before drone tech. That's right, we bring you the brand new Wonder Drone. As you can see, this special drone comes equipped with four different weapons. Just give her a good smack when there's nothing else to do and it'll change what weapon it fires. This is a steal of a deal and you'll have to be an idiot not to take it. You think I can kill this ship? Um. You think they're gonna use the drone on us? Will it like explode? Because it's a wonder drone? Damn, we got an angry one. Arm the weapons. No plants. There's a wraith, but he's not that strong. But no plants, dude. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna even even use the surge protector. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it the surge protector. I want the wonder drone. Now, do you think we can hack their O2 on this ship? They're gonna board me with this guy. He's dead. He's he's already lost. What a fool. Okay, where are they? They're in that room. Now the Wraith can um, sneak through the ship, so what I'm gonna do is try to meet him over here and attack him. Hey, what? Where the hell are you going, dude? What a jerk. Yo, get in that room, thank you. Um, and we'll go Open all the doors. Open all the doors. All right, they have level one oxygen. I suppose you could hack it immediately. I'm gonna hit their weapons first, probably, and then we'll hit, like, they're not even using their drone. <laughs> Is it really that good of a, sh of, a, of a drone if they're not using it at all? We gotta, we gotta take out their uh, clone bane now that I think about it. So we'll do it like this, like this. Good enough, that crew member's dead. It's gonna take a few volleys, but Dude, to be honest, their weapons suck. I don't, I'm not gonna even worry about them. <laughs> Sorry, Mantis. Mantis. So Mantis is dead. The Mantis is dead and he's dead. I should really try to limit how much my weapons are firing because I don't want to overkill them. All I really want to do is um, let you into the room, fire one of those, lock the door, and now you're dead. Now we're gonna get this wonder drone and it's gonna like explode. Like every time you, you uh, throw it out there after like four seconds it just explodes. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> 
That's a bad thing to hope for, but it's probably what I'm gonna get. Uh, we need to fire this weapon. Crystals take reduced suffocation damage, so it's gonna take a minute. He's dead. We get the Wonder Drone. A very strange and poorly made smuggler drone that can be changed to a random weapon at empty beacons. Four drone speed. At empty beacon, so I can't do it now? No, I can't do it here? No. Can change to a random drone. Well, it says random weapon. What does it, what does it do? <laughs> What would you say you do around here, drone? Drone speed of four. System damage one, crew damage 15, shield piercing five. Ooh. It pierces all shields. And does guaranteed damage, but it's real slow. Drone speed of four. It's not bad. It's 30 scrap to sell it if we find a store. I'm not that disappointed. Dude, we have not a lot of time to get a lot of scrap. Hope you understand there's nothing personal, but you killed our guard. Um, I don't really care. I'm gonna kill you then. And you know what? Screw trying to get loot. I'm just gonna surge maximum and just say, like, F you guys, because I don't want to deal with you anymore. Why do they always board me here? <laughs> Every time! Get out of my ship! Wait, why is a human... No, you gotta be on the station. You gotta be on the station. Dude, they love hitting my oxygen. I don't know what it is. All right. Um, still do it like this. But they're they're almost certainly toast. Well, that's piloting. Hey, at least we're getting more breaches. We have no dodge chance, unfortunately. We should have gone after weapons, let's be honest. Well, now we should go after shields, because, you know, we're about to... Uh, murder their ship. They bombed their own crew! <laughs> you losers. You fools! Miss. Okay, that buys us time to, to repair. O2 is going to get repaired. Medbay is going to get repaired, but the nanobots are dispersing. Oops, sorry, NG. Oh, because O2 is offline. You'll be fine. Open that door. Okay. Storm Mantis and Distress. Let's go Distress first. Board and investigate. Refugee, refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as though it was fleeing the rebels and ran out of fuel. Who knows? Really? We can't even scrap it? What a waste. What a damn waste. So I don't I don't think I want this wonder drone. I want to shop. But I, I just want to shop. No, no, no. Don't, don't do anything. Use a drone. Randomize the weapon. It will be completely randomized. So it doesn't change it to a preset weapon, it randomizes the weapon. Let's let's see what happens. What is it now? Drone speed of nine, but one ion damage. Is that, is that good? <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm just gonna buy cloaking. I don't know what a speed of nine means, so, you know, we already have enough drones. 
They're instant. They go out there, they kill things. Now I would like to get shields powered up. Pirate Station! It's an inn. They're peaceful and the groups inside appear to be made up of all kinds, including rebels, pirates, officers, and various assortment of aliens. Oh no. I will enter the station. The bartender, a bulky rock man, who you are pretty sure is a wanted criminal, welcomes you in and offers you a drink. Behind you, the lively crowd is laughing and chattering away. Sure, we'll have a drink. While you down the latest shot, you watch a mantis juggle flaming skulls. The crowd breaks into applause until the mantis catches on fire and runs screaming out of the inn. Do I have enough scrap for this? As you drink the green substance in your bottle, you observe the crowd further. It's an interesting bunch. You can see enemies staring at each other across a room and glancing away when their gazes meet. You grab your drink, pleasantly surprised to find it filled with a sweet nectar-like substance. While drinking, you catch wind of a conversation between a group of pirates discussing someone named Tuco, an infamous pirate who stole a massive sum of money from a mantis hive caravan and spent it all on fa funding his massive gambling addiction. You also catch the coordinates of the casino. Yo, possible super good stuff there. Maybe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We gotta do a lot of jumps. Actually, we can do exit then this one, but we gotta do it in a different order. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Casino will not be overrun. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. We need to go over down here, and then from here we can explore. Maybe. Monkey, have a good night. I hope you live <laughs> on, on, on my ship and not die. An upgraded or an aggressive slaver approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free. Outrun or threaten. Or attack him. I think I'd rather just attack him. They have no plants. That's the first thing I'm noticing. <laughs> they have a mind control and a teleporter, which doesn't really bother me. And no plants. I, um, I think I'm just gonna do nothing. With the cloak, it's gonna be a lot easier for us to deal with enemies like this. And they have a med bay, but if they board me, they're gonna die. And if they board me with three people, even better. So you are going to uh, break the shield system, so I'm gonna stop you from doing that. Should I hack them? That's the only question. I don't think I need to. They got a they got a sweet weapon though, which I'll admit concerns me ever so slightly, but. Ooh, that's a lot of crew. It's a lot of crew, but, you know, they're still gonna die. I gotta take out the oxygen first. That should do it. Yeah, so O2's offline. They have a second level oxygen system and NG doing the repairs. If he repairs it once, I can hack it. Probably be good enough. I'm gonna use a drone part. Twig Breaker, welcome! Thank you for the resub. How's it going? Hello. Good to see ya, buddy. Yo, my crew is stunned in the room. But they're healing and the enemies are dying. So, goodbye. You lived which is a pain. So we actually left the room? Why? I would like to take out one weapon. That'll do it. What are they doing? Get off of my ship! Get off of my ship! <laughs> 
They're not gonna get their weapons online. That weapon is screwed. And that Mantis can't do anything. Where, where did they go? Oh, the, the NG is a... Uh, he's a nano NG. He also cannot heal, weirdly enough. They might actually get their weapon online. They did. Jerks. Well, we gotta hit him then. You're gonna die already. I think we'll hit that once. Twice. I don't think we need to hit it three times, so. Yeah. They're not gonna get this stuff repaired. And Connie, welcome as well. Morning. I really like having that med bay <laughs> upgrade. Just being able to not have to worry at all about it. It's quite nice. Let's get you repairing and you can man the station. Oh, he got it repaired. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. You know what this means? It means when I uh, board their ship to scrap their remains, I'll, uh, it'll have oxygen on it. And we don't need crew, so we're gonna free them. And notoriety has been decreased. That seems nice. Because th this is the maximum amount of crew we can have, and we don't really need anybody. Like, our crew is fine. Sure, it's annoying whenever we get boarded, but we can probably usually deal with it. I think we'll um, save positions here and uh, probably move you there. Eh, kind of like you being next to the door so you're faster to move, but it doesn't really matter that much. Let's jump. Store, no. We want to go to the casino, but we want one, two, three. Well, we want to jump down anyways. We have 68 scrap. I would like to save for the shields now. Crew members, no. Well, at least that's a very uh, easy beacon. The beacon is do nothing. It feels like we use a lot of drone parts, but we don't really use a lot of drone parts. One of the pirates gets impatient and attacks. You're too close to get away, so you have to decide which side you're going to have to take. Side with the Peace Brigade or the pirates. No, I will side with the Zoltans. They might not even have guns on their ships. <laughs> We'll side with the Zoltans on this one, although it would be funny to side with the other ones. Oh, I hate this. They have no med bay, but they have a freaking... plant and an NG. Still gonna have to try, because, I mean, it's what I want to do. But how, how would we do this? We would have to... I think... Hack the weapons, and we'll try to just take out the crew the old-fashioned way. Although I guess we could have probably just used the cloak. You know, get out of here. I had the oxygen on, so they're gonna break my weapon. Or break my system. Get off of my ship! Well, we'll get it repaired. Alright. Hack. I misclicked. I don't even know what that weapon does. They did send over their plant, though, which is real nice. And they're gonna send over another crew member. You know what? I, I don't think I do anything. I don't think I attack them at all. Although he, he phases through doors as well. Hey, stop it. So now I think we go, after, we go on him. I think we want to take out their O2. They have like a third level oxygen system too, which is kind of crazy. You can just stand there. We got hit once, you know? Fair. I'm not focusing on their weapons and I should have cloaked. 
hit their door system. Not really gonna do that much. We should hack their weapons too. I'm I'm kind of losing a little bit of focus here. I should try not to. Twig Breaker says having this low of oxygen scares me. What? You got a problem with the five breaches aboard your ship? We're fine. We're fine. I should have hacked their weapon. Luckily, we, we dodged one shot. I mean, their crew's not dead because they've got the Phantom, but we can just shoot the Phantom now that he's in the O2 room. Stop shooting your weapons. Five. So that requires at a 15, one, two, three, four, and then a fifth shot on him. We cannot kill the crew. We actually can't. Rad Flak does extra damage to crew. I mean, that's true, but you know, yeah, okay. If the Rad Flak hits this guy, we can kill a crew. But we have to, we have to do enough damage to kill the Phantom in one shot and then have enough power to hit the NG when he starts nano forming. It's gonna actually be a little rough. But we got him, which makes me think that maybe we can kill the crew. But they are still firing shots. If I now if I focus on the weapons, I can hack them and keep them at bay. I'm going to repair the breach in the cloak room. I'd rather have uh, system rooms not be breached even into the breach. What, what kind of a gun is this? What do you do? It's a three shot, like maybe heavy laser. Interesting. Takes a long time to charge whatever it is. Oh, that's a, that's a charge or chain flak, isn't it? That's why it's firing so fast. I could probably shoot the NG right now, but I really want to, you know, do something about their weapons. Do these holes in your ship make it more aerodynamic? How'd you guess? Alright, so now the NG is stuck. His AI has no idea what to do. And he's dead. We'll pay the debt off dutifully. It's a, it's worth the scrap. It really is. We should also have a lot of cash for when we go to the casino. I think that would be interesting. Plus 1% dodge per breach would be a cool augment, says Brendan Toad. <laughs> Only if you could use the augment to create breaches as well. One, two, three, four, five. Go back to the exit. Four, one, two, three, four, five, then go exit casino. So the casino, it's not gonna go away, so I actually think we can get five beacons and the casino. One, two, three, four, five, backtrack, casino, backtrack. It's called a breach bomb. Yeah, but it uses missiles. Destroyed cargo ship, bring it aboard, 18 scrap, which is actually 19 scrap. Because X, People tell me exclamation marks do not get overrun by the rebels, which is what I want. Equipment for sale. Disable their weapon system before hacking. Take your standard Federation toll. Yeah, we should do that event more often then. Well, combat would still probably give you more resources, I suppose. I'll take what I can get. They shoot a missile through one breach and out another. How about um, an extra dodge chance for every hole in your ship? Oh, this is, it's a loot ship. Well, I'm not gonna pay you, so we're gonna fight you. Mmm, these should be fun. They're gonna board me, they're rebels. It's a, it's a, a peacekeeping ship? Like it's a, they got a, a plus. 
a medic ship. I guess they have, ma you know, Neddy, Medi, Mato, Nano bots. Um. We'll have to take out their oxygen and med bay. But we can hack them. I, I don't think I want to kill them. Seems like a great ship. Why do you always go for the rooms that have no people in them or people in them? You know what I mean. You always go for my shield room or my weapons room. That's a doctor drone. Doctor drone, doctor drone. These freaking jerks. Um, It's another breach at least. We're probably gonna have to hack them. I kinda wanna hack their uh, weapon room. It separates the oxygen in the med bay already, so if we can get them on one half of the ship, then we can stop them from actually um, interacting with the other parts of the ship. But, that being said, if um, we hack their weapons, we can take their weapons offline, but if we hack their med bay, then they can't heal, you know? Actually, if we hack their med bay, they can still get around. We'd have to hack O2 or weapons. I think we're gonna attack weapons, so I'm gonna hack oxygen. It's a level two O2 system, but I'm still okay with this. And the Doctor Drone, you know, whatever. It might break one med bay. I didn't realize the Doctor Drone would do damage, <laughs> but so be it. Let's um send you all the way up there. Get my crew kind of spread out one more time. And uh, open these doors. And don't forget we have a cloak. And the hack has already gone in. And we're gonna hack. No need to dodge this. Now we didn't hit the med bay at all. Close all doors for a minute. Um, this is still going fine. They're gonna heal passively over time. They have a surgeon drum, but they're not gonna use it. We need to hit the med bay. I'm doing this, by the way, because we get loot. I want loot. It's probably gonna be like a healing bomb, but whatever. Brendan Toad says, a fun fact I learned in my first run of multiverse, if you have a level one med bay and a medical bomb, you can disassemble the med bomb to level up your med bay. That's cool. You can disassemble recycler bombs to get recycler tech, I know that much. How do we want to do this? Hitting the weapons would be nice. Breaching the O2 room would be nice. But if they repair O2, then I can hack oxygen, then shoot it again. So I think I do want to take out their weapons, maybe. I'm not that worried about the med bay right now. Especially when their crew is all just dying. Their crew is dying terribly. You know what? We're probably going to get the surgeon drone as the special tech, if I had to guess. That would make a lot more sense. Why do you do so much damage? Combat damage is halved? You're killing my medic, though. <laughs> Swap guys for a second. Okay, O2 needs to be powered up. Please heal. I'm glad I moved the medic into the room, let's be honest. You can go there. No, no breach is necessary. Oxygen, hack. <laughs> This is what I want. The O2 did not get destroyed. Well, we can wait a minute and then hack it. Oh my God. Okay, open up all doors. Close, 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 close. You might as well just walk into the room and punch that guy a few times. Um, We could hack it again, but we got to take it out too. I think it's more important to... If 
At this point, it might be more important to hack it. Ah, uh, they did one damage. Hack it? It'll drop the O2 super quickly. We're not getting... We took one damage, but whatever. They have no pilot. Now's the time. Yes, let's go. They're screwed. You're going into the dr into the drone room and into hacking room. That's not gonna help you. Although they might get their oxygen back online, they're gonna get their med bay back online probably. Ow! I should have I should have I should have cloaked. Again, I'm, I'm it's a freaking five hour long FTL run, okay? These things take a long time and I'm, I'm losing a little bit of focus, admittedly. I took another hull damage, but hey, I couldn't cloak out of that one, but we killed him. We got 48 scrap and the surgeon drone, of course it was, hypocritical oath, achievement unlocked. At least now we see what we got. So it is a drone that heals people on our ship or can be fired onto enemy ships to heal on their ship. So it's two power, which is actually kind of a lot. Rewired by a murderous rebel surgeon to be a capable of combat. So it is just a, a healing drone that can also do, com oh, it does 1.5x combat damage with a faster attack rate. It's like, it's just another crew member, dude. I kinda like it. Dude, dude, I like it, dude. I mean, we need crew members, we only have six. That's why I have the, man well, the manager drone I kinda have for power. But I'm A-OK -okay with a, um, oh, look, you guys can stay there. <laughs> I'm A-OK -okay with, um, you know, a surgeon drone, which I can toss out there and just use it for a, a combat personnel if we need it. 261 scrap. We'll go to the store. Explore. Pirates attack the pirate. You know what? It's been a while. Let's surge. <laughs> I want to surge. I want to watch the drones rip him to shreds. To shreds, you say. You know what? Whole repair drone can heal us when we hurt ourselves using the power surge. There you go. Something I didn't even think about until just now. Blank Forge says we need an FTL emote. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We took the big charge laser offline, which was nice, and then they repowered it for some reason. It's not a very good shield hit, but these are gonna keep him busy. <laughs> no, I have 74 missiles. I don't need five more. Get out of here with that. 44 scrap plus a store. Mm. Frost laser mark two, three power, four shots, Guaranteed stun, no other effects. Chain heavy laser, but that doesn't seem particularly helpful. Systems I can't use. EMP field. Activates an EMP field which cripples the enemy reactor. Will not work on the flagship. I would love emergency generator because it would power the power surge for free. But we're not finding it. What do we need? Frost is a better gun, because it's more bullets. We could replace the crystal with it. But it's it's an expensive get just to get one more laser. It's 45 scrap for one more bullet. And we have to pay for it with our reactor, like with our um, weapon power, which is 120 scrap. So is it worth 160 scrap for one bullet? Weapon of the day is kind of cool. It really does depend on what you get, but it is cheaper. It's cheaper. So it's not much of a loss. I 
and a charge of 16 seconds, which is the same as the, the crystal burst. I don't think you need the frost weapon. I don't think you need it. Now, admittedly, it's very good at killing crew, but we're a little late just to have to start focusing on that. So I, I'm just gonna go to the other store because there's another store. And then we'll go to the casino because the casino is gonna still be there. It's not gonna go away. So we'll go to the store, look at this store, go to the casino, do the casino quest, and then we'll get out of here. So I think this is a four shot heavy laser, maybe a five shot hull laser. This is a three shot, probably. So they probably have eight shots. Oh, but they've got a freaking, they've got a, they got one of the, Air dudes, <laughs> they create air. They only have three shields though. Oh, but they're gonna board me immediately, which is actually perfect. So they're probably already, I mean, they're definitely already dead. Hi. I stunned them. <laughs> you dummies, you freaking dummies. So now that that's been dealt with, we gotta kill them, finish them off, end their lives. We'll do it like, um, this. Two breaches is basically what I wanted. I see their lasers. I'm not paying attention, which I should be doing. Let's do that now. Yeah. You don't gotta pay much attention, just a little bit. I like how the shells just roll, says Connie. They do just kind of roll around. I imagine what they sound like. Link Forge says eight. Also, it's really cheap to highlight a message in oxygen on uh, on Twitch. It is. You gotta watch for like five minutes to highlight a message. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it cost more channel points. Not my fake points. You, look, you, you literally can't hurt me. Actually, no, they could. It's unlikely. Do we need to up, we need to upgrade super shields. I can't believe I forgot about it. But with 300 scrap, we gotta, we gotta keep upgrading our ship. It's our ship and I wanna upgrade it now. Might as well. <laughs> We get a shop. Ooh, heavy lasers are real good. It's a lot of damage. Payload fuel conserver asphyxiator. Cripples the enemy O2. Uses four to six power infinite duration. Emergency generator will reduce the power by two. If you get this early, you can kill all crew in all ships just by using this and then waiting. It's real nice, but again, I don't think it's what we want now. I'm gonna wait for the drone to finish. Um, I am tempted to get the heavy laser because it's so much damage. Like if we replace the crystal with it, then we have seven shots to take down shields and then two shots that do double damage. So it's one less bullet, but we could do one more damage. Is that really enough to spend? At least we don't have to buy like another uh, weapon system upgrade. Minus one damage, plus one damage, plus one damage. Yeah, so it would it would theoretically do one more damage. Still kind of like it. Heavy laser mark two, huh? Um, bum 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 bum.
It only costs 30 to make the change as well. I like that this pierces, of course, but um, heavy laser doing more damage does seem a little bit more interesting. You'd have to time your shots. Black, then Harbinger, and then as soon as you fire that, heavy laser, and then hope that the heavy laser shots hit, and um, do extra double damage per shot. Boom, boom. I like it. Now, unfortunately, there's nothing else to buy. <laughs> like, I don't care about any of this stuff. There is a medical bomb. Single-use combat augment that does four damage to an enemy system of your choice as well as in the hull. You know, I could see this being useful for, like, special events. Like, I need to kill the crew to do an achievement. Then you can take this and then kill their medbay or something. I could see that. Uh, but I don't I don't think we want anything. So I'm going to jump to the exit and then the casino. And I'm... Should... <sighs> Here's the question. Do we upgrade shields or do we keep 300 scrap? <laughs> I don't know. But you know what? We've got cloak and hacking. We can we can stall, hopefully. Maybe we should have spent a little bit of cash and get our super shield. Yo, it's uh, Star Wars. The casino in question is no pirate cesspit or ramshackle gambling city. In the distance drifts a giant yacht with hundreds of ships swarming towards it. It floats above the surface of a humid jungle planet, and in the center is a giant structure hosting what is likely the population of an entire city. It's not hard to find the casinos with a blaring neon sign drawing in people like bugs to a beacon. Inside are rows and rows of slots, pokers, and a few bars. Sure, I will gamble 20. Accepts it as currency. Congratulations, you lost. Three golden sevens flash, followed by a loud fanfare and confetti. The machine exclaims in a loud voice, congratulations, you lost. Okay. Before you can even begin searching, a shout echoes throughout the casino. People turn to stare at as a rock man in pirate paint with a filthy moss beard and eye patch. With an elegant casino, a tuxedo, lots of widths, is dragged out by two burly rock man bouncers. On his way out, the pirate exclaims, you can't do this to me. Do you know who I am? I'm the dread pirate Tuco, the most feared man in the entire galaxy. The Rockmen ignore him and continue to carry him outside. I'd much rather, like, talk to the casino owners. Like, hey, hey, do you have any debts you need collected? You aren't sure what you plan to do, but the situation has you curious. You follow them outside to see Tucko. Heading back to a large cruiser with yellow pirate paint. Not long after, the ship powers up as weapons come online and he's firing at the casino. A few Enforcer ships fly out to meet him, but it's uncertain who will win the fight. So what, do, what would we like to do here? If we aid the enforcers, I mean, either way we could get scrap or a ship, but Tucko is kind of a unique guy. We might get a unique crew member. We might get his ship. I mean, it says he's got a large cruiser with a yellow pirate paint. We're gonna get his ship. So we should probably aid him. This does not even look like that bad of a ship looks suspic suspiciously like a rebel transport that was painted over again, but that doesn't matter. I don't think we should worry about killing the crew, so I'm going to power surge, and we can, we can probably power surge for six, which means it's gonna take a little while before it first activates, but that's okay. Um... You're just gonna shoot the engines for a minute. It's a level... It's a level two mind control, which means that it's gonna be a little harder for us to keep the engines alive, but that's fine. They're not even doing anything. They have a... Shoots your combat drone defense drone, so we could use a hacking part if we want. They got missiles, they got bombs. But we have a cloak. I don't think we need to hack anything. And you know what? It would shoot down the hacking parts. So why don't we just chill? 
He's gonna shoot at the manager drone, and then we'll just have this thing go repair for a second. In a second. I'd rather him not cost me the drone part, is the only thing. The bomb, I think it missed. That's a missile, so I'm going to cloak. Yeah, I missed. It was up at the top of the screen, which is why I didn't see it. All right, and let's, um, I mean, we could try to kill the crew. This doesn't look like a, a difficult ship. I would like to take out their weapons. Right, we changed our weapons. <laughs> I forgot about that. Repair for this, okay. All right, so now in comes the uh, missile. We dodged it. I also forgot about this. So I'm sorry what's about to happen to your ship. Although that defense drone is actually like incredible. You should go over there, get that repaired. You should go over there and stop him, but we can wait a second. Ah, just go do it now, stop him. I love starting a lot of breaches. And you know what? I think I have decided I'm gonna hack, I'm gonna hack their uh, med bay. It landed, and now this crew member is dead. It's, it's a nice way of just killing their crew members if we want it. We're gonna need O2, let's get that going. They're trying to get stuff repaired. They're gonna try to get into the med bay to heal. Sucks to be you. We're gonna lose our... They're gonna run out of uh, missiles pretty soon. And when that happens, th they're not gonna be able to do anything. We should get our O2. How does it look? Oxygen, still dead. They're trying to get into the med bay. They're in the med bay. Stop attacking me. He walked out of it! You bastard. Get back into that med bay, mister. Oh, he's dead. You know what? Oh, it did, did double damage. Whatever. Plummets towards the ground. The rest of the ship seeing Tucko's now no longer the only threat retreat. The yacht owners offer a handsome sum of money and free drinks to both you and Tucko if you promise not to cause further damage. All right, we get his cruiser. He chuckles as he brings the scrap back to his ship. Good fighting there, kid. Couldn't have done it better myself. So I'll tell you what, this hunk of junk that I'm disgraced to call my personal cruiser has seen much better days. How about I hitch a ride on that pretty ship of yours and you do whatever you'd like with mine. We get the Dread Pirate. Um, now just another washed up careerless drunk. Does more damage but moves slower the more enemy crew are in the room. Moves at one X speed. All allied outcasts gain bonuses. You're a rock man, but not an outcast. Brendan Toad says, can I be Tucko? Do, do we leave someone behind? We could leave Stormworm, he's just a repairman. Replace the NG? I kind of like the NG, you know, not a bad idea. A lot of health means that we can just wait for enemies to die passively, and then we won't have to like retreat as much when we get boarded, because we are gonna get boarded. I like Big Stink, great name by the way, because that's a nice unit for getting repairs done throughout the ship. I called first the hose as disposable. <laughs> da -da.
yeah, you know, I can see it. We're gonna get mind controlled, which will, will be really annoying, but I think we'll replace the NG. A couple of Rockmen does seem kind of nice. We can buff their health too if we get the um, the onboard lab. I think that's okay. <laughs> you did call it first, so there you go. I like having Rockmen on the rooms, because they don't have to retreat, they can just stay put. I'll admit though, getting rid of a human sounds kind of nice, but... Let's, um, let's get rid of the NG. Because then we can have... Oh, hold on, uh, close all doors. Then we can have... You on shields. You can hang... He's real fast outside of combat, look at that! It's, it's cool. You hang out, you hang out. I want to have one unit hanging out with each rock man. No, 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 you gotta hang out with him. You're the freaking pilot. And then you are just kind of like on the ship doing repairs in the in the dead zone, in the back where everything's broken. I like it. Save positions. Do we have 300 GD scrap? What should we upgrade? Why don't we jump to the next sector first? Escape, outrun, love to see it. Goodbye. Ballistophobia, don't use any missiles, right? Continue, Federation Capital, exit hyperspeed, continue, continue, continue. Fuel in a sector map, ammunition and drone parts, more crew or repairs. We don't care about any of this, so give me the map. I tend to pre prefer the map because then I know where I'm going. And no reason to spend scrap. Let's go to the merchant. I do have 77 missiles. Would you like to buy 50? Tyke missiles. This uses no power, I think. Requires no power, one missile, 14 seconds, two damage. It's actually quite nice, but literally not what we want. I have 457 <laughs> scrap. Torch beam. So there are two different torch beams. One pierces shields, one doesn't. Lucerne. I see. So it does. It's a four power beam, but it does double damage to systemless rooms, which is not really what I'm looking for. Did you get anything from the judges? Yeah, the, the buff we got from the judges was your unique crew are a little bit better. So now Taco is going to be a little bit better than he was. Casino was a letdown. We should have... Next time, we're going to side with the casino and maybe get something else. Get the fourth... We're, we're going to get the fourth shield. Don't worry. The fourth shield will be gotten. The question now is do we want a new weapon? And I think the answer is no. I think the answer is no. We should, we should maybe sell the Surgeon Drone. You know, it's another body in case we get boarded. I will say that. We could also use it as, a, as an invading drone, but probably not. I don't, I don't really want anything. I like the weapons that we have. So what I'm going to do is upgrade. There's your next bar of shields. There's your next level of hacking, which I do think is important. The next level of backup battery. Now we have 100 scrap left, not that much, but we're gonna do some internal upgrades. Your shields came back. We need more shields. Then we can get aether shields. Now we have temporary super shields every combat. Look at that, look at that. 
There is a store. I would like to go to the store because if we can get an emergency generator and power up this surge thing, I would love that. All right. Defend the outpost. You know what? Go ahead. Use all of my power. What do I care? Why is my weapon off? Oh, right. We powered it. We powered down everything to power up the weird beam thing of ours. Harbinger? Heavy. It's a good start. They're gonna board me? Dude, your ship. Oh, you're gonna board me in this room. But your ship is like destroyed. You should not be boarding me. Yeah. I think we're gonna accidentally kill the crew. Well, no, they're gonna get the O2 repaired. So I'm gonna have to take it offline in a second. <laughs> the, the drones are doing pretty good work though. Their glaive beam got me. You know what? As penance, I'll eat a whole repair drone. They're still getting their stuff repaired. I should have been paying attention in Cloaked, you know? I've not been paying as much attention to that kind of stuff as I should be. How are they doing? Are they dying? I'll know in two seconds. There we go. Yep. Eh. I don't know. Should we should we wait at this point? Might as well wait, right? That's not gonna fire. That does seem like an acceptable cloak opportunity though, because their glaive beam was about to go off. I'll tell you what I'll do. This. What you gonna do, human? Nothing, that's what, oh, they're dead. <laughs> that's what the six power gets you, accidentally kill the ship. 93 scrap. Eternal upgrade. Performance weapon upgrade? We don't need missiles, so faster weapons does seem pretty nice. Better cooldown on backup battery. Um, sure. You know, I'm just gonna kill the ships. I'm gonna stop trying to crew kill them. We don't need to worry about that. I think we're well beyond having to care about crew kills. They do have a Vulcan. <laughs> they had a Vulcan. Oh, they hacked my doors. Well, they're still dead. That's you know what that's really annoying because now I gotta uh, open my doors again when I'm done with this combat. I gotta. You mean I gotta open my doors manually? <laughs> Yo, get off my ship. Oh no. Okay. Open all doors. Close, 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 close. 80 scrap. Do we need to go to the store? Imagine doing stuff manually. We don't really need to go to the store, but. An emergency generator. I don't know how much power it saves you, but I would love to watch it save me some power. Herbal fleet is gathered around a planet with a rather largely populated Federation metropolis built upon it. It appears the leader of the fleet, an overly rotund and almost egg-shaped man aboard an engineer vessel, is shouting at a crowd that is gathered in response. It's a Sonic reference. Why is there a Sonic reference? Eggman. Can I can I have Eggman aboard my ship? The engineer frantically gestures while he speaks. I've come to make an announcement. Colonel Hedge is a bitch ass idiot. He slept with my wife. That's right, he, there's some fumbling with the mic, but the speech promptly resumes. Was this big? And I said, that's disgusting. So all, I'm making a call out to all of you. Hedge, you've, again, the mic cuts out momentarily. It's the size of the ship, except way smaller. And guess what? Here's what mine looks like. 
The crowd screams as a massive ABS cannon extends out of one of the nearby fleet ships. That's right, baby! He slept with my wife, so guess what? I'm gonna sleep with this planet. The humongous ABS cannon. ASB cannon. Has it always been ASB? I call it ABS all the time, anti-battery ship. <laughs> but the shot travels much higher, missing the planet and striking the moon, causing the giant rock to shatter as if made by glass. That's right, this is what you get, my super blazer cannon. How do you like that, Hedge? I slept with the moon, you idiot. You have 23 minutes before I get bored of waiting and destroy this entire city. You'll surrender yourself immediately and I'll get out of my sight before I sleep with all of you too. What is happening? I mean, I will, I will, I will kill the engineer vessel because that that seems good. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna toast you. You're gonna, you're gonna be killed very quickly. I pissed on the moon. <laughs> um, you got missiles. You know what? You had missiles. You had weapons. Now, unfortunately, ABS does go through um, Super Shield, but we can still cloak it if we get the timing right. That'll work. I mean, we don't really even need our Power Surge. There it is, though. Hello. Every time I see MFK, I'm like, M Mother Effers! Rebel vessel has been defeated without their leader. The rebel fleet quickly becomes disorganized. Um, you meet Hedge, who extends his thanks. I have generally no idea what he was talking about. Sure. I don't even know who he is, but no matter, let me see what I can do for you. It's just scrap. We got scrap out of that, okay? We, that's what, we did all that, we got scrap. Store is gone. More freaking kittens. A massive battle between Federation and rebel invaders is raging on. You receive a hail from a dropship trying to make its way through the atmosphere. Respond. How'd you get down there so quickly? It doesn't matter. We're supposed to be bringing reinforcements, but we can't get past the rebel blockade. Since you're already down there, do you think you could help our troops? It could be the difference between victory and defeat. Sure. You find the Federation Battalion, they're in bad shape and are cornered in the city center. Their commander, a young man by the name of Conrad, gratefully receives you. We don't have much time until the rebels find us and rain all hell on our forces. We need to be as prepared as we can. If you can help in any way, we'll be greatly appreciated. Cowboy Opossum, thank you for the resub and welcome. Howdy. Provide medical attention or dispatch the drone to fix up their equipment. We can give them medical attention. Perfect. Ooh. I'm gonna be totally honest, this mission is doomed. I have a duty to serve and I cannot abandon my med, my men. This man is my brother. I cannot let him die here. He will serve your ship. Yeah. Sure, Brendan Toad. Brendan Toda. You're, you're better than the human. You're a better human. You're a human soldier, man. So now you're gonna be hanging out with Tuco the Rock Man, keeping him safe from invaders. You think you can handle it? You name him Cooper, he becomes a scientist. So, Frosted Fire, welcome. I've seen that before. However, I hate it because it sounds terrible in combat. Like if I can tone down his gun a little bit, maybe. Uh, let's do the lab. What kind of uh, Rockman stuff do we have? Fire resistance? More health, but move speed reduced? You're never gonna move out of the room, but we don't need this. Uh, let's upgrade. Maximizes engine recharge rate. We don't want pre-igniter, I don't think. We can make the weapons faster and then make them faster again? No, we can't. Okay. Oh, booster. Faster drones? Oh, there's the emergency gen. It's an upgrade. Allows you to ignore the power and fuel cost of combat augments. Yo, does that work? Is that what it... 
I could have gotten that a long time ago. Is that what I, I'm I'm learning from this? Yo, we can com we can totally upgrade our ship substantially. That's fantastic. Okay, well, unfortunately, there's nothing to do here, so let's go. Uh, let's go fight. There's no more beacons left. Dun, 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 dun. Do something on board the ship. Do nothing, I guess. We can go to the judges. Three, two, one. Yeah, we can go to the judges and make it back. You don't hack on the first fight, though. Um, so we want... Oh, it, it only allows you to do this if you have something that you can you can succeed at. So we can do judge of tech and, like, shields. Ah, oh, reactor. Oh my, your reactor is huge, huge! So many upgrades, so much power. I can barely contain her excitement. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. The Harmony is cruel. Cruel! Corby was manufactured with filthy serial code for a name, numbers, hardly a name. I made a new life for myself. Yes, Corby is a beautiful girl, very happy, and she loves everyone. She loves you too, Traveler, and she is never going back to that dreaded place. Never. Oh, sorry for the outburst. Okay. Weird. All right, let's go fight. Continue. Continue. Surge. Ah, it you can only power it with the base level. And it's slightly worse, but it is free. Uh, I think I'm going to do this one. It also didn't seem to cause me any damage. Or is it three damage every power surge? I don't know, but we have a lot of beam drones coming in soon on them. So hack the planet. We're gonna see how this works. I thought it would damage me, but maybe it's broken. My weapon is not getting powered. That is very silly of me. That's what happens though when you use the, the freaking ability, isn't it? Well, we might as well fire once. They didn't mind control. And they boarded us in just the most garbage of rooms, so who cares? Let's get the medbay powered up. Hopefully you don't kill each other. 13 seconds. 13 seconds until all hell breaks loose aboard this ship. I cannot wait. Eight seconds. It's a 10 second hack. We can wait a second. We can wait a second. In fact, we can wait for quite a while now that I think about it. Dodge chance. Empty room. Power surge. Flack is going in. Here we go, you ready? <laughs> oh, let's see. All right, that was pretty good. So I think it I think it did do three damage. So prop well, we might have just gotten shot. It might do three damage every time the power surge goes off, which is mighty dangerous. Easy game. <laughs> that was pretty good though. Now, here's a problem. We killed none of the crew. But on the third phase, there's no mind control, I think. So on the third phase, it'll actually be easier than it was here. And we have a little bit of time maybe to upgrade our ship, but since the emergency generator doesn't allow you to use the, the ability for free, like completely free, it's less important. It's still gonna cost us eight power, but it's like the, the world's best artillery weapon. You healed up? I was waiting. There we go. So, boom, 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 boom. Our power is still here, it's just not in the system right now. There's nothing left for us to fight, so we might as well just, like, upgrade. Um, 
I gotta be... <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm, I was gonna say it might be nice to get um, breach sealant. That is the last thing that we need on this ship. Respirators might be nice, but we definitely do not need breach sealant. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. We also do not need, uh, like, stealth weapons or anything like that because we only cloak for five seconds. I'm just using this as a dodge. We never had enough scrap to upgrade it fully, and we have too much power requirements elsewhere. We would need, like, several Zoltan crew members and then make them double batteries. Emancipation grills can no longer phase through doors. They don't do that anyways. Door control might be something we want to upgrade just to do more passive damage, but... Devil's enemy FTL charge time. You can just buy that? It's fantastic. I never knew that. <laughs> Turns out I never knew a lot of things. Um, immune to stunning. Explosives replicator doesn't matter. Aether tech. Pre-igniter, pre-igniter, go, go, go. Uh, and then Runic Translator. I still I just still have no idea what to do with any of this stuff. Spatial anomalies. Respirators could be good, but um And we're not gonna be able to hack on the next phase reliably. So um we might not even want beam drones, we might just want the normal drones because then they can help take down the shields when, um, because we're not going to be able to hack. Anyways, I'm just kind of like looking at, at the stuff, looking at the things. Kind of just looking at the upgrades. Uh, there's not really a lot to do, is there? Uh, so why don't we just upgrade doors? Make it harder for the enemy to get around. Continue, continue. Surge projector. Because if if the enemy has any shields, this is useless. Yeah, three self damage per activation. That's scary. So I actually think seven beam drones and three laser drones is actually better. Because if they have any shields, this will take down the shields and also do beam damage. Now we can try to hack them. I will try, but they have a defense drone. And a lot of crew, still. We're gonna lose our super, our super shield insanely fast. They're hacking, they're boarding. That's fine. That's why we have the Emancipation Grill drills. We wanna just cloak out of the missile. They hacked my hacking, which is annoying, so we're not gonna hack. Did that thing not board me? We must have shot it down. Maybe they shot it down? I don't know. It landed! Pardon? Well, we're gonna hack it in 15 seconds. For now, though, let's, um... Oh, there you are. Deal with you. If I send in the Wraith... It's a Battle Drone Mark II. We're gonna ionize our own system but like, you gotta do it regardless. Oh, they're going into that room. You know what? It's a 10 second hack. We're gonna, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose power in the room. Send in the clowns. We might wanna attack their drone system next. I, I just don't don't even go in there. It's not worth it. Power. That's your power surge. Rude. I still think we don't hack. I think we wait. Power surge in five seconds. Now we attack. That's fine. Hack. Their drones are dead, their shields are gone. Oh, this is gonna be good. 
Although that defense drone is so good. Their shields are back. Did you see that? What a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's like a, a anti-defense drone Mark II or three or something. That's silly. We're actually okay. Well, we still got him. We took one damage. That's a little absurd, though. <laughs> it's a really good defense drone. <laughs> Did you know that for 110 scrap, you can render the enemy defense drone useless? So I, the reason why I didn't buy it was twofold. First of all, I didn't think we would need it. I didn't think that they would shoot down that many um, drones. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is the second phase of the Rebel flagship not missile defense drone? You know what? Full HP, dude. I, th I thought that that was a missile defense drone. Maybe that's vanilla FTL and in multiverse, it's a combat defense drone, which I didn't anticipate. I, I will be honest with you. I didn't anticipate that. Maybe they have one of each. Cause that 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 is not that was not a pretty sure it's just drone defense, but it only shot down my my yeah yeah maybe um maybe it's only a combat drone. Sorry, I'm just trying to think here. Uh, but the reason why I don't have defense scrambler is because I wanted to upgrade other things. <laughs> to be honest with you, but yeah, okay, okay. Well, you know. Lesson learned, I guess. Try to maybe pay a little bit more attention to that in the future. Um, we should be okay. Let's jump. And this fight sucks. But we're gonna go to six power. I, again, we, I can't guarantee that the shields are gonna go down. Although, maybe we can. You know what, screw it, let's do it. Do self damage. Oh, but the... Right. I still think this is okay. We'll probably hack their shields. Hmm. We gotta take out your cloak, though. Ugh, this is terrible. Still, send in the... Right. Let's not worry about that for now, then. Get the O2 powered up. I will dodge this. It's only 90%. I don't have my um, engines powered up fully. Garbage humans. Shut down all doors. We have no oxygen, but that's fine. Fire the weapons. The power, the power is not gonna do anything. Uh, our power surge. Because their shields are going to be online. I can't hack them fast enough. So we're going to have to wait one more phase before we can do anything with this. And it costs us some, some damage, but we can get out of that. I want the bombs to fire. They're not firing their weapons. Do we dodge the missiles or the bombs? Now we dodge both. Very lucky timing on that. Okay, so we can hack him now. Did you hack, did you blow down my drone part? <laughs> okay, then we need to take out their cloak, then we'll hack them for the next power surge. That'll take down their cloak. Missiles incoming, you know what? Lasers incoming as well. Let's power up the engines a little bit. And actually backup battery is better. Don't need to haul repair drone immediately. We're fine. It's a lot of flack. We're hurting. It's fine. You are, uh, you're gonna ionize something. But you know what? You got health right now. 
So what I'm gonna do is open doors. By the way, we're, they're not boarding me anymore, which is really nice. That powered up. Seven seconds. That powered up. Get that powered up. Wait. Medbay's offline. You're not at full health. You're gonna ionize the room. Get out of the room. Our power surge is ready to go. Get the hacking part going. Oxygen is fine. Weapons are down, but that's okay. Although we did just fire the weapon, and I think we only got one shot off, but whatever. Weapons are offline. Hack. Shields down. We'll do it. Might as well heal. <laughs> it does do a lot of damage, even though it is a little awkward to use. All right, our ship was a little wounded at the end of it, but we got it done. Fun ship. That's a very fun ship. But I, I really think that that full power drone thing is. It does a lot of damage, but you're way better off going for the one that gives you like six beam drones and three lasers because that's more likely to actually punch through the shields. Unless you have ions or a couple of flax or something like that, then the beam drones are just going to be useless a lot of times. But uh, still a very fun ship, Cura. It's the fourth high score so far. Most piloted evasions? Mud, what happened? That's a fun ship. I, um... Kind of wish that that emergency generator was a little bit more helpful, a little bit more useful. Maybe have it uh, reduce all levels by two power would be kind of nice, but that might be a little bit overpowered. Getting the free ability to use it, it would help a lot in the early game, but you've got to buy that backup... <clears throat> Excuse me, you've got to buy that backup battery in the early game in order to take advantage of it or get lucky with a uh, augment. Let's take a look at the hangar. I want to take a look at the ships that we have unlocked, like B type. Still with no crew. Whoa, 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 whoa. Surge type drone swarm. Burn. Surge type firestorm. Rains superheated plasma on the enemy that starts fires, damages systems, and pierces two shields. What? With a firebomb and an anti-hull weapon. <laughs> and a cloaking system. Yo, that's, that's 170 scrap that you get for free on the run. Collected 2300 scrap on the last run. I only bought the recovery arm, recovery arm on like sector six because I completely forgot about it. You'll love this ship. It look it looks like if this is about doing hull damage, this is about doing crew damage. Destroy systems. It might do hull damage, but it doesn't say it does. It specifically says damages systems. Very interesting. It's all about setting the enemy ship on fire. You know? I would have loved to have like a beam weapon, but fire, fire bomb, plus this, it looks like we're gonna be killing a lot of crew with a cloak as well. I like it, I like it. And then we have, oh, we also have hurt with two weapons and a repair arm. Reduces scrap collected by 10%, a charge stunner and a hell beam drone. Very fast. It can be fire or anti-hull. And surge type is meltdown. Deals heavy self-damage but creates bursts of heavy radiation that causes significant damage to the enemy. So it hurts you, but hurts the enemy. Ah, and then then you you repair via the repair arm. The ship is also off the damn screen. I don't know how I feel about this, <laughs> but it really just depends on how it actually works, 
you know, will the surge controller here actually not be heavy self damage, even though it says heavy self damage? Is it going to have a free tier where the free tier is not uh, really that bad? When it says damaging the enemy, is it crew or ship or systems? I don't know. We also did unlock another ship though. The good! Aw oh, crap, where is it? Nope, 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 nope. The good. What the heck is this? It's a tiny ship. Charge, laser mark two, simple ion, defense laser, defense laser, with a weapon pre a weapon pre-igniter? He's got a wet Tuco has a weapon pre-igniter. Pardon? I gotta look at this. <laughs> And I don't know what 15 means. The personalized ship of the famous pirate Tuco. With some minor modifications and repairs, this model remains weaker than other ships in hull, but it starts off incredibly strong. Ah, lower HP. No sensors, but hacking and great weapons. So these weapons are not good with the weapon pre-igniter, but if you get, you know, a freaking glaive beam, you're set. Very interesting, and 15 HP. That's cool. Six, eight, six HP for that other ship? No, this is six crew members. So there's boarding ships like this one that starts you off with a lot of spiders and you can have 10 crew members. The art infestatio. <laughs> what else? Did we unlock anything else? Um. I don't think so. So many bloody ships in this flippin' game, oh my god. Still, Kira, a lot of fun. Anyways, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch. Or when I go live, support the channel, any of the links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next mission in, or run, of FTL. It's like mission, like what is this, XCOM?